Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Modern Warfare 3. Activision has to be trolling us right now. There is no way they are this tone deaf. I mean, in a lot of ways, they are pretty tone deaf, but not to this extent, man. There is absolutely no way. I really feel like the PR people are really trying to just poke fun at the entire controversy surrounding skill-based matchmaking within the Call of Duty franchise. So, you guys may remember back when Season 2 Reloaded came out, they started posting this nonsense to our screens. Players who cooperate brave their teammates win more games which is just hilarious it's almost ironic in a way because skill-based matchmaking actively punishes you for trying to win games and trying to do well and things like that yet they're trying to get you to try to work with your teammates to win more games even though if you win more games you're gonna start getting worse connection and worse lobbies overall because you're winning too much and they have to even you out they said just as much during their blog post where they talked about skill-based matchmaking it was just how can you encourage people to try to win games in cod when they've blatantly come out and Said that if you're winning too much, we're gonna have to humble you and make sure you don't win too much. Like it just it was such nonsense, complete bullshit. I did a whole video on that. You guys remember it, hopefully. It was quite the rant. Well, yesterday, the same day that they decided to forego the old classic Shamrock and Awe event and actually do something cool within the game and instead just give us a $20 bundle, they made this tweet right here. I'll just go ahead and watch the video. We can watch it over and over if you guys would like. All these defeats in a row, 17 games later, they finally win a game by one point. And the caption of that tweet is here's to the ones that never give up literally what they're showing in the footage here is what skill based matchmaking is are you doing too well are you too good of a player every single game loss 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 it doesn't matter how good you do you're gonna lose if skill based matchmaking so determines it the outcome of virtually every single game of modern warfare 3 or even just call of duty in general feels almost predetermined which is why i'm sharing this footage right here i know i've used it in a video previously but it's the perfect background gameplay for this entire topic like we're gonna skip ahead and just show the final score then get back to the actual action this is what we're talking about with skill based matchmaking here's to the ones that never give up dude look at my team man I had one guy on the hill there for three minutes but he had 11 total kills the only reason why he was able to be on the hill for three minutes is because I got 47 kills and then the rest of my team basically combined for about as much as I did in 10 v 10 I had nine other teammates that could basically all come together to get the amount of kills that I personally got that is skill based matchmaking in a nutshell it's not always just necessarily the other team is going to play like their mlg gods or anything like that but also it's the algorithm making sure that you are being weighed down as a player if you're performing too well and this is back when the f2000 first came out and i was just leveling it up and the f2000 is ridiculously good here in modern warfare 3 so as a result i was doing good in most of my matches and then activision's like you know what we have to humble this man right now by doing everything we can to make sure that he does not win because for some reason they still believe that people actually really care about winning like I had fun in that match I did because I was running around I was getting a bunch of kills did I end up losing sure but that's not because of me it's because Activision decided that I was not going to win that game so it just goes back to everything I was talking about in my previous video I personally am apathetic towards winning do I try to win yeah like I want to win I want to dominate the lobby I want to get the most kills I want to be on the objective like I want there to be without a shadow of a doubt that I was the best player in that lobby that's what kind of like motivates me when I play that's how I have fun I also have more fun by not just using the same freaking MCW class every single game like everybody else I try to do well and play the objective and I try to win with whatever loadout it is I want to run for that particular day hopefully to get some interesting footage for you guys here on my YouTube channel that's how I play but you know while I'm trying to win if we lose I really don't care <laughs> I really don't like if I win it's like all right yeah whatever if I lose huh whatever I'm, I'm apathetic now I just don't care and I know for a fact a lot of you guys are in the same boat because you said as much in the comments of my previous video when we first started talking about this nonsense right here where they're trying to get Call of Duty players to cooperate to win more games. Like, why would we cooperate with these people that we've never seen before and we're never going to see again because lobbies expand after every single game? These people are only here because the algorithm determined that we should all play this match together because of things that we did in the previous matches leading up to that game. Like, it's all bullshit, man. It's all bullshit. It's all nonsense. And again, it is just so tone deaf for acting vision to be posting this on the official call of the twitter account with millions of followers just posting this up here basically showing what skill-based matchmaking is actually like but again they know exactly what they're doing you would think a tweet like that would get a bunch of backlash right you think the comments on that tweet would just be ridiculous well big daddy activision already has a contingency plan for that as well let's just go ahead and check out the responses to this post here on twitter 
yeah, it's all bullshit. So they set up this entire automated system on their Call of Duty Twitter account. So no matter what they post on there, there's never any feedback. There's never any discourse or anything like that. You cannot see the replies because all you have to do is like type in COD combat record with your Activision ID and the bot associated with their account will automatically tweet your combat record back to you. So there's no way to actually really see the responses on here. You can go into Twitter and you can mute the phrase COD combat record, but it's not going to mute it for Call of Duty when you're looking at their responses. So there's no way to really see what people think about this tweet. I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of backlash from it, but you can't see it because they have the system set up in place and all these kids want to see their 0.8 KDs in Warzone I, and show it off to their friends or something. Like, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Just look at your stats in game. It's right there. But then again, maybe they're the kind of fans that just don't even care to log into the game anymore because of skill-based matchmaking, which they were making fun of slash glorifying within the tweet itself. Like, it's ridiculous, man. It is so tone deaf, but honestly, I am not surprised. And yes, we are still scrolling here. You cannot actually see real responses to that tweet. It's literally all combat records. It's just ridiculous, man. It just goes back to the entire idea that skill based matchmaking is always going to be a topic of conversation. But it's just it's weird how they're handling it now. When they first came out and started talking about it with their blog post, but now they're putting that bullshit in the game. And now they're talking about that on Twitter. It's just it's weird what they're doing right now. I truly do believe that skill based matchmaking is killing the franchise. I truly do believe that the reason why Modern Warfare 3 does not sell so well is because of skill-based matchmaking, but I also truly believe that Treyarch's making the next game, and no matter what, a Black Ops title is going to sell well. It's going to be hyped up, and skill-based matchmaking is still going to be a part of it, and over time, regardless of the quality of the game, it's going to push people away. How many of you down in the comments have already left COD because of it? You know, it just it's right there. It happens every single day. So as always, we have to wait and see if anything significant is ever going to change about skill-based matchmaking, but I wanted to make this video here today showing off that nonsense they posted to Twitter because it was freaking ridiculous and I'm sure they're going to do some other tone deaf bullshit within the future and you guys know me I'll be right there to make a video on it anytime Activision goofs up because you know what that's like half my content anymore because there's not enough content actually being added into the cult to the multiplayer anymore what a cycle, man. I just don't understand how Modern Warfare 3 had such potential and made so many positive changes and they were listening to the community and then now we find ourselves not even halfway through the game's life cycle and there's just like nothing really happening and just, I don't know. It's getting frustrating. It's getting a bit scary, honestly, because Call of Duty itself, we talked about yesterday, them getting rid of all the holiday events and things like that. Like, what is the game going to look like going forward? It seems like every year we end up losing a little bit of what made COD special back when, what made COD a bit magical back in the day and again Treyarch is coming with their game this year and who knows it might be fantastic Treyarch typically puts out a pretty good product but with matchmaking affecting literally everything how long can Treyarch's bells and whistles keep fans appeased and keep fans actually wanting to play I guess we'll have to wait and see but guys that is it for this video here today I hope you enjoyed it leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments thank you all so much for listening and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day